there will be uh, much better data. The, the best is yet to come from the high-rise camera on board NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The data was taken, but because of the government shutdown, we haven't seen it. Something just happened near Mars that has the entire astronomy community holding its breath. A faint streak of light appeared on deep space monitors, a visitor from beyond our solar system, moving faster than anything bound to the sun. At first, scientists thought it was a comet, just another icy fragment from the void passing harmlessly through our neighborhood. But then the data stopped making sense. Its orbit didn't match any natural trajectory. Its chemical fingerprint broke every rule in the comet textbook. And most baffling of all, it seemed to change direction. We're talking about 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected, and possibly the strangest one yet. In the early hours of July 1st, telescopes from Hawaii to Chile picked up something impossible, a sudden 3% deviation in its orbit as it passed near Mars. Within minutes, NASA's internal alert systems lit up, orange level priority, the kind reserved for major impact threats and planetary defense emergencies. Mission control rooms that are usually calm and quiet became tense, electric. Every screen filled with code, telemetry, and error logs that didn't match the models. Slack channels at JPL exploded with one-liners that no one there ever wants to see. Deviation confirmed. No model fits. And that was just the beginning. Because what 3i Atlas did next broke more than orbital predictions. It broke expectations about what's even possible in physics. It didn't just drift away like a normal comet. It appeared to maneuver. As if something invisible had grabbed it and pushed. Now the European Space Agency, NASA, and Japan's deep space teams are all comparing notes, trying to answer one terrifying question. Was this a natural outburst, or did something out there just move? And here, where things take an even stranger turn. Because when ESA released the first chemical data from its ExoMars orbiter, Astronomers found a signal they'd never seen in any known comet, a plume of pure cyanogen gas, completely missing the usual fingerprints of water or carbon monoxide. An impossible chemistry for an object supposedly made of frozen rock and ice. The headlines call it a comet, but a few scientists, including Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, believe the data could point to something else entirely. A controlled craft, a probe, maybe even a message. Tonight, we're going to break down what really happened near Mars, what NASA isn't saying publicly, and why 3i Atlas could become the most important object ever detected entering our solar system. So before we dive in, make sure you subscribe for grounded, hype-free deep space analysis, because the truth about this object is far stranger and far more important than the headlines suggest. It was around two in the morning on the U.S. West Coast when the routine became anything but, tracking updates for 3i Atlas, an interstellar candidate on a one-and-done pass through our system, started showing residuals that didn't sit right with the people who stare at numbers for a living. Trajectory analysts cross-checked timing, pointing, and catalog errors. Observatories in different time zones compared their astrometry. The chatter grew fast and technical. Was the orbit solution missing a non-gravitational term, or were they seeing a mirage born of noisy data? Inside those late-night calls, the job is simple but brutal. Rule out the boring failures first. Bad calibration. A coma-biased centroid. A background star near the target. If those fall away and the residuals stay, you revisit the orbit from the ground up. That's the part the public never sees, the patient, methodical grind before anyone dares say the word anomaly. Brightness is the first language of distant objects, and 3i Atlas started speaking loudly. Over a short window, its light curve jumped far more than you'd expect from a quiet, coasting body. That can happen for natural reasons, 
fresh dust released into sunlight, a jet catching the phase angle just right, or geometry that briefly boosts reflectivity. But the cadence was odd enough to send photometry teams back to their raw frames. Then came the spectra, instruments breaking light into chemical fingerprints searched for the usual suspects, water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, cyanogen, the carbon chains that give many comets their green tinge. The early read, something about the balance looked wrong, not silent, just skewed. That kind of weirdness doesn't prove anything exotic. It does, however, raise the stakes for better data and repeatable measurements across multiple telescopes. Here's the heart of the debate. Comets can and do push themselves. When sunlight hits a patch of volatile ice, it jets off and acts like a tiny thruster. Over days or weeks, that can measurably alter a path. We've watched it happen, but to clock a measurable change over just hours, that would be a lot of thrust for a short time, well above the polite nudges we're used to seeing. Solar storms don't solve it either. Coronal mass ejections can twist iron tails into fantastic shapes, but they don't shove a kilometer-scale nucleus by meters per second. If a genuine, short-window delta-v is there, it's going to show up the same way every big space truth does, in an updated orbit solution that demands it. Until then, the right move inside mission rooms is the cautious one. Collect more data, widen the time base, and let the math force the conclusion, not the other way around. Earth's telescopes had a problem. The sun was muscling into the line of sight. Mars didn't, with multiple spacecraft in place. The kind built to stare at rocks but agile enough to sluice toward the dark, Mars became an off-Earth watchtower. Different geometry, less glare, cleaner air. That vantage is priceless. It lets you test whether a strange feature is camera trickery or truly stuck to the object. Those Mars side looks reinforce the headline. 3 I Atlas was active, building a coma and tossing dust, but it wasn't behaving like a showy, classic comet with a long, obedient tail. Its structure looked tighter, its profile more restrained. Activity without theatrics. That is not alien. It's interesting. The kind of detail you need when you're trying to pin down what kind of object you're actually dealing with. Chemistry is biography. The mix of gases and dust in a coma tells you how the surface breathes, how deep the ices sit, and how long the body has been baked by cosmic rays. Some teams reported stronger-than-expected cyanogen, and a mismatch with the usual water and carbon monoxide lines. If that balance holds up under repeated observations, it points to formation in a colder, darker nursery than our outer solar system, or to a crust that's tough, carbon-rich, and slow to vent water. Both stories are natural, both say interstellar, and both are newsworthy. Because every credible three eye we can study, after Aumuamua and Borisov, tightens the picture of how other stars build and eject their leftovers. You need context to read a single object. One I slash Aumuamua had no visible coma and a puzzling non-gravitational acceleration. It left us arguing. Two I slash Borisov was a textbook comment. Bright, water-rich cyanide lines blazing, just unmistakably from another system. 3i Atlas looks like a bridge between those extremes, active but muted, fast but not flamboyant, chemically odd in a way that hints at a different birthplace or a hardened surface. That's the real advance. One object is an anecdote, two is a pattern, three starts to be a map. Whenever an object acts outside the comfort zone, the same question resurfaces. What if it's not natural? You've heard the arguments from sail-like radiation pressure to engineered alloys to intentional maneuvering. They make headlines because they're cinematic, but in practice, the bar is brutal. To move the conversation from what if to we have to consider it, you need the kind of data that corners the natural explanations. An orbit fit that can't be closed without unreal thrust. Spectra that refuse to look geological, morphology that repeats under different angles and instruments. That doesn't mean you ignore the hypothesis. It means you let the boring explanations fail in public, one by one, before you reach for the extraordinary. That's not a buzzkill. It's how you keep discoveries standing after the excitement fades. 
you can watch the truth assembling in real time. It'll look like this. A refined trajectory with explicit non-gravitational parameters that everyone can test. Multi-epic spectra, different nights, different scopes, showing the same line strengths and ratios. Consistent photometry, once geometry and phase angle are accounted for. Imaging or polarimetry that ties the structure of the coma to the chemistry and the dynamics. When those pieces agree, the what is it question shifts from mystery to measurement. Is it a volatile poor, crusted relic from a deep cold nursery? A volatile rich but oddly layered comet? Or a third category we haven't named yet? Interstellar objects are time capsules. They carry the chemistry and temperature history of other suns, wrapped in dust and ice and baked by eons of radiation. Each one that swings through the inner solar system lets us sample a different star's leftovers without leaving home. That's not just neat, it's profound. It tells us whether planet building is a local quirk or a galactic habit, whether the ingredients of life are rare flavors or the house special across the Milky Way. 3i Atlas adds a line to that ledger. Even if it never does anything impossible, its chemistry and light curve will sharpen our models and, maybe, make the next visitor a little less surprising. We'll keep tracking the orbit updates, the spectra, and any official releases as they drop. If you want clear explanations without the noise, subscribe and ring the bell. You'll get the signal, not the static. And tell me in the comments, what single piece of evidence would convince you that 3i Atlas is just a quirky comet, or something we've never seen before?